So those of you who've been following my content for a while know that uh, basically there's a fertility crisis. At the same time as there is a push for a global cashless system, which will be very bad for the poor and very good for the rich. And that the recent lockdowns and uh, sort of coof restrictions have been creating an environment where like a huge amount of rich people were created while a bunch of poor people got shafted. Um, and I, I thought that I would sort of go into this a little uh, because there's an evil article. If you want to see it, this is evil. And it wasn't recent. It was put out like, you know, at this point, close to five years ago, but it really shows the mentality of the elites and how stupid they think you are. So I want to read this for a second here. Even as birth rates decline, overpopulation remains a global challenge. <laughs> this vision of a post-apocalyptic overpopulated world has been a favorite nightmare scenario of science fiction writers and filmmakers for decades. Think Blade Runner and Soylent Green. So, <laughs> first off, this is the WEF making another one of their dystopian articles. But just to be clear, they think you're too stupid to understand this kind of thing. Or stupid enough that you'll believe their side of it if they reference movies. And they're saying that this is just like Blade Runner and Soylent Green. <laughs> but data from a variety of sources, including the UN and the World Bank, indicates that the total number of live births is falling around the world including in developing nations. <laughs> so, this is considered good by them. And they're saying, some commentators have suggested that the decrease in fertility rates is good news for our descendants who will escape gruesome deaths brought on by food shortages and starvation. Like in the movies, it's 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 not a matter of food shortages and starvations as in this study this study and this study it's not a matter of food shortages as in we can prove that this will be the case um and that you should accept our globalist paradigm uh in order to solve these problems right it's like in the movies like in Soylent Green and Blade Runner. In previous generations, national birth rates were high as adult populations reproduced to ensure they would be taken care of in old age. Yeah! That's how this works, especially in the capitalist system of, you know, Ponzi schemes running fucking everything. Social Security is a Ponzi scheme. Um, the, the public and private healthcare industry is a massive Ponzi scheme. The banking industry itself is a Ponzi scheme. It's all a Ponzi scheme demanding newer and newer investors to buy into the base of the system so that the people further up profit and so that, uh, the people who paid into the system before can get their payouts off the work of new generations. That's the reason why uh, the total U.S. debt is so fucking insane now, like $32 trillion or something, and, and why um, the, 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 the debt per person is something like 250000 It's like, it's that way because there's more and more debt required in order to fuel this system, and more and more people required in order to pay that debt. And the Federal Reserve issues loans to the U.S. government. 
the Federal Reserve then becomes the controller of the U.S. government and then gets to basically puppeteer policy from a centralist banking perspective. The Creature on Jekyll Island is a great book. Read it. You know, these people have figured out how to control everything from a centralized economic perspective, and they've found out that they can keep a scheme like this going as long as they give people enough attaboys or discounts or start massive propaganda campaigns against dissenters or, you know, start wars so that they can justify wartime powers and spending and shit. They found out that they can do all of this because it's a Ponzi scheme and people at some level know that they need to like reproduce and produce for the system or they won't get theirs that they paid into it's a fucking ponzi scheme the whole thing is but the world economic forum isn't going to end this ponzi scheme they're helping people double down by pushing cbdc's and shit right so of course National birth rates were high as adults' populations reproduced to ensure they would be taken care of in their old age. Because you fuckers set it up that way. Fucking Billy Joel asked, we didn't start the fire. Yeah, you fucking did. All of you did, and you kept it going. So that you could profit, so that your investments would pan out, so that all these systems that you built for your benefit would still have people making them work. And parents frequently had many children as insurance against high infant mortality rates. Yeah. So? However, factors such as the development of more effective medicines and improved access to education for women may be contributing to declining fertility rates. If you ask me, more education for women doesn't do that unless you're educating these women that they should do that. Or telling them that it's okay that the whole thing is collapsing, that they will lose everything that they have. As long as they do what the government says, at least they'll have baseline protections. It's evil! And they know it's evil, they know the fertility crisis is here, because it was covered on fucking mainstream outlets like I covered in my fertility crisis video, where they're killing our babies, right? And they think this is a good graph to represent this. Where uh, these poor countries are having higher infant mortality, so they have higher fertility in order to compensate. Well, I fucking wonder why. Maybe it's because the globalists have shoveled all of the trash of the world into these countries and made them the, the, the fucking landfill of the world, consistently poisoned their water supplies, killed their tribes, made them unlivable conditions with depleted uranium and depleted waste of, of other sorts of nuclear varieties. That's why. Because these countries have become the cesspits of the world due to Western influence. You think people are strip mining cobalt for fun? No, they're doing it because they're reliant on these industries now that multiple different world powers have put them into debt slavery. Like, China's doing that to Africa right now, but AFRICOM has been fucking China for decades. So let's not act like these poor countries have high infant mortality and child mortality because of some mindless void or whatever, or because it didn't have proper medicine or access to education. It's because you're fucking them over. It's because you're fucking them over to fuel your economic system, which is about to fuck them over even more, because as we've proven, the cashless future will be worse for poor people than it will be for the rich. You can watch my videos on that as well. I cite all my motherfucking sources. So you made it this way, you're making it worse, and you're celebrating as though you're doing something awesome because fertility rates are dropping. And maybe, maybe, maybe 
all these chemicals that you constantly have to warn us are going to cause reproductive harm might have something to do with it. Maybe the giant arrays of forever plastics that are in literally all of our bloodstreams. Maybe the shit you're spraying in the skies has an impact here. Maybe the runoff from your industrial production has, a, has an impact on fertility. Maybe that's why these things are dropping and all of this other stuff is just a smokescreen so that the UN can continue to release reports like this. Despite this, some regions are st still experience, and, and they don't even... <laughs> the World Economic Motherfucking Forum can't even edit their own articles. Some regions are still experience significant population growth period with no space. The. This article is five years old. These people are some of the richest people in the world, and they will not hire an editor. The UN noted, for example, that despite lower fertility rates in Africa, where rates fell from 5.1 births per woman between 0 and 05 to 4.7 births between 010 and 15, the populations of 26 African countries are likely to at least double by 2050. They're saying this is a bad thing. They're saying we need to control Africa's population. Otherwise, we might do a Soylent Green or Blade Runner. Like in the movies! Even with fertility rates falling globally, the UN points out the world's population is likely to total 9.8 billion by 2050. And that's just where they end the article. Image by Bloomberg and the World Bank. <laughs> Dude! Bloomberg is the rich. Mike Bloomberg is a piece of shit for reasons I've gone over so many times. And the World Bank keeps everyone debt enslaved with all these fucking loans and shit and doesn't care about the fact that the interest rate is fucking the countries that they're putting people. Like, it doesn't matter to these people! Bloomberg and the World Bank are the reasons that these people have lower fertility rates and they're still saying it's not good enough. Africa has to be suppressed. So, is it any wonder that every time they want to push one of their agendas, they start in places like this? Is it any wonder that the developing world is their version of the place that needs to be democratized next, or the place that needs access to education and health care? Is it any wonder that the Gates Vaccine Alliance, the Gavi or whatever, that that needs you know, constant funding and support and blah, blah, blah in order to make all of this possible. Well, it's because they've been making this happen for a while. Because, get this, the next year, Event 201 would happen. And all of these global partners would gather to say, like, this is totally a simulation. We're totally not going to plan the, 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 the coming pandemic. We didn't and wouldn't do that even though all this stuff basically happened, and even though uh, DARPA, just prior to Event 201, released this report, um, at least, you know, internally, it was classified until recently, that said they knew the virus was being created in a BSL-4 level lab, right? They knew all of this because they want it. They want these things because it makes it easier to control population. And because fertility rates dropping is a good thing if they plan to fuck over these countries anyway. If these countries have, like, the, the greatest threat in the, the form of, like, you know, Blade Runner Soylent Green futures, then they can say, hey, it's great that population rates are dropping and that fertility rates are dropping. And let's start there in these places that have the highest fertility rates. You know, child mortality, you know, we'll just ignore and disclaim any responsibility for the environment we create, which kills kids. You know, the wars, the environmental decay, the everything else. And then we'll parade people around like Greta Thunberg to say, 
blah, blah, blah. How dare you, blah, blah, blah. Instead of actually doing jack fucking shit about it. And opposed smiling with the authority figures to be kettled and arrested later. This is a show. They don't give a fucking shit about the environment. And if they did, they would stop being the rich fucks in control of everything. And stop killing poor countries by using them as the landfills of the world. So much so that their rivers are literally flowing with garbage or flowing with oil or flowing with, like, toxic and radioactive waste. And they would stop pushing the CBDC, which will kill them, which will destroy poor countries and poor people, which will disproportionately destroy these people. But it's not a bug. It's a feature. This is evil. This new economic paradigm is evil, and they want you to not think about it long enough that you don't realize that they're selling you the evil by threatening you with movies based on dystopias that they want. Soylent Green? It starts with eating the bugs, and then it becomes recycling humans for their meat. Soylent Green is people, yes, but the WEF wouldn't mind. And they're telling you, you need to be worried about that then? Here? Now? They need to fuck off as hard as they can. But will they? No, because they're in control of everything. So remember this. I just want you to think about this today. I want you to think about this today as you go about your day. That they're totally fine with destroying the planet and killing people. And that they will celebrate and dance on your motherfucking graves. As they institute the new systems. As they institute the new policies. As they institute the new economic paradigm. And they will do it with glee and write celebratory jack-off articles like this. Because they are monsters. And this is evil. And this is all the more reason you need to smash the fucking state.